Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this nice and interesting exponential math problem, which is r s to power 2 minus r s to power 3 is equal to 80. So how can we solve this exponential math problem? So first of all, here we will move this number in the right hand side to the left hand side. So this will become negative and this equation will become a square minus a cube minus 80 is equal to 0. Now here we will spread this minus 80 to the sum of minus 16 and minus 64. So this will become a square minus a cube and we can write minus 80 as minus 16 minus 64 is equal to 0. Now here in this step we will change this 16 and this 64 to square form exponential form so this will become a square minus a cube minus we can write 16 as 4 square minus we can write 64 as 4 cube is equal to 0. Now here we will combine the squaring terms and the cubic terms with each other so this will become let us combine these two terms. This will become a square minus 4 square. Let us combine these two terms. So, here from these two terms, we will take the negative sign common. So, this will become a cube and this will become positive 4 cube is equal to 0. Now, here these are two famous algebraic identities a square minus b square and this is a cube plus b cube so here in this one step we will use these two cubic identities in the first one term this one term we will use this algebraic identity a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b times a plus b now in this one term we will use this cubic identity a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square. So using these two different identities here in this equation, this equation will become so using this one identity here this will become a minus 4 times a plus 4 minus now using this one identity here in this one term this equation will become this will become a plus 4 times a square minus a b now a b will become 4 a plus b square now b is 4 so this will become 4 square is equal to 0 now here looking to both the expressions here a plus 4 is common so we will take it out common from both the expression both the terms so this will become a plus 4 now here in this one term only a minus 4 is left minus and here this one expression this quadratic equation is left which is a square minus 4a plus 4 square is 16 is equal to 0. Now here we will multiply this negative sign inside this equation this parenthesis. So this will become a plus 4 times a minus 4 this will become minus a square this will become positive 4a and this will become negative 16 is equal to 0 let's further simplify this one expression so this will become implies a plus 4 times this will become here minus a square 4a plus a is 5 a and minus 4 minus 16 is minus 20 is equal to 0. Now again here the product of these two expression is 0. 
So here either this expression will be 0 or this expression will be 0. So from here we will get two equations. The first equation is a plus 4 is equal to 0 or a square minus a square plus 5a minus 20 is equal to 0. Now first we will solve this one equation. So here we will move this positive 4 to the right hand side. So it will become negative 4. So this will become a is equal to negative 4. So this is our first solution and first value of a. Now here we will solve this quadratic equation. So first of all we will make the coefficient of a square positive. Now to make the coefficient of a square positive we will multiply this equation by negative 1. So multiply negative 1 with this equation this will become here the sign of e terms will be changed. So this will become a square minus 5a plus 20 is equal to 0. Now my just look into this equation here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. So here we will use the quadratic formula to find out the roots of this quadratic equation. Now to use the quadratic formula here first we need the values of a, b, c from this equation. So here the value of a is 1, the value of b is negative 5 and the value of c is plus 20. Now the quadratic formula is a is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now let us substitute the values of a, b, c from here in this right hand side in this formula. So this will become a is equal to minus b, now the value of b is minus 5 plus minus square root of b square now b is negative 5 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 20 divided by 2 times a is 1 so let's simplify this right hand side so this equation will become a is equal to negative time negative is positive so it will become positive 5 plus minus square root of now minus 5 square is positive 25 minus 4 times 1 is 4 4 times 20 is 80 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 so let's further simplify this equation so a is equal to 5 plus minus square root of 25 minus 80 gives say minus 50 5 divided by 2. And this we can further write this equation as 5 plus minus we can write square root of mi minus 55 as square root of 55 times negative 1 divided by 2. And next we will split this square root over 55 and negative 1. So this will become a is equal to this will become 5 plus minus this will become square root of 55 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2. Now here square root of negative 1 is complex identity i. So this will become a is equal to 5 plus minus square root of 55 i divided by 2. So this is our final value. So here we have two possible values of a. One is positive and one is negative where both the values of a here are complex. So finally we have three solutions of a. The first one is a is equal to minus 4 and the second and third solution are that one. So we will rewrite these solutions here. So the first value of a is which is our real number minus so this is a1. No, a2 is which is a complex solution that is equal to 5 plus square root of 55 i divided by 2. Now this is our second solution which is a complex solution. Now a3 is 5 plus square root of 55 i divided by 2 
this is our third solution which is also a complex solution now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching